Now this spreadsheet task builds upon skills that have been learned most likely at National 5. Now first of all, it asks us to do a calculation, an if statement and a little bit of conditional formatting. Now, first of all, we have to work out the percentage. The percentage this person got when he sat their exam. So first of all, let's format ourselves for percentages. Let's have no decimal. Now, to work out a percentage is simply what the person got divided by 75. So equals 34. We can't use 75 as a cell reference because it's part of that cell with some text in it, so it won't work. So it's B4 divided by 75. We push enter, and that gives us our percent. Again, we can copy it down. Now, in the instructions, it asks us to use an absolute cell reference to work out if someone has passed or failed. So that is an if statement within an absolute cell reference. And the absolute cell reference, if you've forgotten, that is asking your computer to make a choice between variables, either pass or fail, yes or no, in this case. So click on the FX button, and this opens up a function box. And click on if, if it's not held already, and then OK. Now, the logical test. This is the cell we want to look at, the cell we want to question, the information we want to talk about. In this case, we want to ask a question about cell C4. We want to ask, is C4 greater than or equal to 50%? Now, if you're wondering why we've got the arrow, Think about it as in math, we've got less than and we've got greater than. That's greater than, greater than, less than would be pointing the other way. And those are just the buttons in the bottom row of your keyboard. Now the pass mark being 50, it has to be greater than or equal to. And at the top of your spreadsheet, we have 50% in a cell. And we have to use that as a cell reference. So you click in the middle of it and you will push F4. And that puts a dollar at the start and a dollar signed before the two. Now, if this is correct, and if C4 is greater than B2, which is 50%, the person will pass the exam. On the other hand, if it's not greater than 50%, it will fail the exam, and then we push OK. And all you do is copy it on down page like so and we can see based upon the variables someone has either passed or failed the exam. So we've done we've done the tricky part of the, of the paper here. Now the next part asks us to format the column so that fail uh, turns red and pass turns blue. So in this case we would highlight the cells you want to work with we go to conditional formatting and we go to new rules and format cells that contain now, conditional formatting I should explain is making text appear a certain way if it meets a certain criteria so format cells that contain specific text so cells containing fail will be red, like so, push OK, and OK again, and you can see that that turns all the fields red for us, again, conditional formatting, manage rules, and you can see that our first rule is here, new rule, format only cells that contain, text containing pass and format 
automatic for color and we want our pass to be blue like so and then apply and we can see that our fails are red and our passes are blue okay, and now we just key in the date for when they passed the exam like so Now the next part, the next skill is the average. It asks you to find the average mark and the average percentage. Now there are again two ways you can do this. The the elongated way would be to type equals average. Then open our bracket. Then find the range, like so. Then close your brackets, and there is your answer. Now, what we have to do is round this number up to 47, that which is by clicking on this box here. Now, percentages. Dealing with percentages, always, always please make sure your cell is formatted for percentages. If not, just double check and no decimal places. And we want to do equals average open your range like so close a bracket and that gives us an average of 62% we're so just checking we've done everything conditionally formatted the pass fail column and put the averages at the bottom of the sheet so remember if statements always click on your FX box and open up the function system Remember, we asked if C4 was greater than B2, which is 50%, and if true, it was a pass, and if not, it was a fail. So, quite a simple if statement. And then we had averages, average formula equal av equals average, the same there. You could also get your average function from up here, and just type in average. And I'll find it for you. So, again, give this a try yourself. If you get really stuck, look at the videos from the device. Thanks.